Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics. What you see on your video screen right now, this is the backside of a fairly typical HD flat screen television and all of its various connection points. And this is a home theater surround sound system, an amplifier that's often referred to as an AVR. So in this video, we're going to explain and demonstrate a few different methods for you to connect your TV to your surround sound AVR system. And we're gonna get started right after this. Look at all the connections on the back of this surround sound receiver. There's a pretty good chance that your receiver looks slightly different than this. And then look at all the connections on the back of the TV. We point this out because there is a multitude of different connection options for your devices. You might have your set-top box from the satellite or cable company hooked directly up to your TV, or you might have, have it hooked up to your surround sound AVR. Um, you might not have anything hooked up to your surround sound receiver. You may have just purchased it. You may have everything connected to this and nothing connected to the TV. You just want to know how to connect the two. Point being that we're going to show you and explain a couple of different methods and hopefully you're going to find one that's going to work best for you. The first method that we're going to talk about and demonstrate is HDMI. Not all HDMI is the same. If you look at the shape of these HDMI ports on the back of our example uh, AVR, the only thing that's the same is the shape. But there are uh, different technologies that have evolved over time, and some of the older HDMIs don't have the capacity to do what some of the newer HDMIs uh, can do. And this is an important thing to note because when we demonstrate the HDMI method, uh, you're going to need to take a close look at your TV as well and, and your AVR to make sure that the features you're hoping to have are available on your particular equipment. Okay, so HDMI. In this particular case, when we look at the back of our AVR, what we see here is HDMI out. That's what the label says, out. And you're looking for the word out on the back of your AVR. However, in the case of our example AVR, surround sound amplifier, you see the word ARC, or the letters ARC, which stands for audio return channel. Now, if you were able to zoom in on your video, you would see that on the back of our example TV, it also says ARC underneath the HDMI port. In the case of your equipment, maybe you don't see ARC. It's not necessarily material. The point that we want to make is that, in this case with our example, um, we want to make sure that we're using the correct HDMI wire. What do I mean by that? So take a look. This says high speed HDMI. So typically, in order to use HDMI ARC, to an HDMI ARC port on your TV, you need an HDMI wire which is rated high speed. Not all HDMI wires are rated high speed. The ones that aren't rated high speed tend to be a little bit older, but look on the outside of your wire for the word high, words high speed. And then simply plug one end of that HDMI cable into the HDMI out on the back of your AVR. Take the other end of that same cable and plug it into the ARC port on the back of your TV. In order to make the ARC feature work, you will have to make sure it is set up both in your home theater surround sound system as well as your TV. At the end of this video, we're going to post a link that will demonstrate how to use ARC. You might have to fast forward the video, but it is there. And let me explain the benefit of an ARC connection. If you have a device plugged directly into your TV, 
that audio signal, that digital audio surround sound signal will come down that wire into your home theater system so that it can process a correct sound surround sound signal. But I mentioned the benefit of using the HDMI connection is you're going to get a much better syncing up of the video to the audio. So for example, if you're watching a movie or a program and a actor on the TV or a newscaster on the TV is speaking, when their lips are moving, the words that are coming out of your surround sound system match up closely, very closely synced with the uh, movement of their lips within the video image. A second option for connecting your TV to your AVR would be to simply make only an audio connection. For example, if all of your devices are connected directly to your TV, or if some of your devices are directly connected to your TV, and you want that audio signal to pass out of your TV down into your AVR, one of these methods would be how you would do that. The most preferred way would be to use a digital optical cable. And in this case, the most popular tends to be Toslink. Now we went ahead and we made one connection to the Toslink audio output on the back of our TV. Here is what the other end looks like. Now both ends of this cable look identical. Sometimes there's a protective cover on the tip. You'll want to very gently remove that. And if you can see on your video screen the shape, you need to make sure you line up the unique shape design of that with the shape of your Toslink input on the AVR and click it into place. Now, there is an alternate cable to the Toslink cable, and it's called the digital coaxial cable. It performs a very similar function. It allows the audio signal, the surround sound signal that comes out of the TV down into your AVR so your AVR can process that signal. On the outside of the cable, it's going to say digital coaxial cable. Don't use any other cable unless it says digital coaxial. That's what the fitting looks like on both ends of the cable. In our example AVR, there's an input for it. It's labeled coaxial. We plugged one end in. However, our example television does not have a digital coaxial audio output, so we wouldn't be able to use that to demonstrate. Your TV might have that output, and your AVR might have that input, and therefore you'd be able to use this solution. There is one other solution. This is perhaps the least preferred, and that is by using the white and red analog stereo audio output jacks from the back of your TV and connecting them. The other end of the cable looks like this. Both ends look identical. The other end gets connected into a red and white audio input on the back of your AVR. The downside of this particular solution is twofold. One, the audio signal is analog. And two, the audio signal is only a left-right two-channel stereo signal. Most home theater surround sound AVR systems have as many as five speakers and one subwoofer and up to nine speakers and two subwoofers. And that type of signal simply does not transmit over this two-channel, two-speaker wire. And finally, just as a quick reminder, when you're making your connections on the back of your AVR, take a mental note of the name and the label of the port you're plugging into. Because on the front of your AVR, you're going to have to switch your input to that particular port so that you can hear the audio through your surround sound system. This concludes this video on how to connect a TV to a surround sound home theater AVR system. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you liked this video or it helped you, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.